All right, guys, welcome to the official testing and transition week. So uh, we did some testing last week. This will be the final week of the, the current cycle, such as today will be bench press retest from when we did this back at the end of March. All right, so use, if you did that, make sure you look it up, use the same weight. We're gonna be testing max effort at 75% of our old one rep max. All right, so again, I hope that's not confusing, but again, look up what you did and retest. No matter what, same bench press review um, about points of performance where we set ourselves up so that we can press through our heels. Remember, we don't want our feet out front kind of wandering around. You'll be able to press down through your heels. When the bar comes off the rack, your grip is just outside shoulder width. That's our recommended grip because it's the most transferable to other movements that we perform. All right, so press down through the heels, get tension in the hamstrings and the butt, come off the rack. Squeeze that bar tight, grip it, shoulders pulled back against the bench, big breath, touch the chest, big drive back up, all right? So this will be a, this is not a one rep max, this is many reps as you can do, so all those things really matter. Um, big breath, pause, tap, really aggressive as you drive out, squeezing that bar, engaging as much muscle as you can. Remember for the spotters, do not touch the bar unless they, unless they fail and the bar goes back down. Let them know, did they get that rep or on their own or not? Okay, so don't help them through it. If they make it or they don't. All right, so that's gonna be our, our strength retest today. Let's talk about conditioning. Okay guys, our conditioning, first part of this is just simple, 50 uh, chest to bar pull-ups for time. Okay, so a lot of ways you can scale this. Actually, for the more advanced athletes, we're recommending a classic CrossFit test, which is 30 ring muscle-ups for time. We just have a six-minute window to get this done. So let's talk about all the options that we can do here. Let's start with the most basic, which is going to be ring rows. So ring rows are a great tool for beginner athletes, particularly with some high volume like this, just to try working on full range of motion. I can change the angle easier or more challenging, but still get good range of motion, okay, for 50 reps, all right? From there, another fun option is to do a jumping pull-up. So this, again, allows for a little bit of that idea of kipping, where it's not just your arms, but the coordination of power from your hips and arms keeps intensity up. So again, find a bar. This is pretty extended for me, depending on how high. It gives you a different amount of help through the legs. But again, jumping and pulling, Okay, or I could do a jumping chest to bar. Okay, something like that, where you're working your way through it. Of course, a band is gonna be um, the most common use for people that are scaling. Remember, the band goes over one foot, step down on it so it's on the center of your body. All right, and then try to work that kip. All right, using a little bit of the power from your lats and your hip pop. Ideally, we'd like to see you trying to work that chest to bar, but scale to regular pull-ups if you need. I'd say the priority here, besides just at least getting your chin over, is making sure that you get strong in that bottom position. We don't want to stop short with bent arms opening up, okay? So 50 reps, or those advanced athletes doing the ring muscle-ups. Um, we're gonna get a three-minute rest, and then go into some more uh, volume gymnastic conditioning. All right, guys, so part two of our conditioning after our three-minute rest, we're going to do 30 handstand push-ups followed by 70 to 50 uh, calories on the rower. So the 30 handstand push-ups for some people is not that challenging. The kipping, you might do that unbroken. All right, so for the advanced athletes, you can do strict with no kip at all, significantly more challenging. Uh, but same as we just went over with the pull-ups, let's talk about kind of easiest going into more advanced. So one of the simplest things that you can do is a seated dumbbell press so you don't have to get upside down just working on getting that pressing strength okay so that's pretty simple you can also do regular push-ups if push-ups are hard for you okay going into a pike version of a push-up so up on your tippy toes your head's between your arms tap your head push back out you make that more challenging if your hips are higher okay so tap and go all right moving up to the wall to some of the kipping stuff. So the prescribed would be that your hands and head are on the same level. A scale would be reducing range of motion, something like this. You can stack up to use a little, uh, a little pad for your head, reduce the range of motion, makes this easier, okay? And again, working on that kipping skill. So kick up, lower down to the top of your head, hips to the wall, feet comes down, 
big drive up. All right, so you got 30 of those to do. Work on just good quality movement, followed off by some rowing, finishing strong. You have 18 minutes total to complete the pull-ups, rest, and this workout today. We do have a finisher for you today too. Okay guys, we, for our finisher we have two movements. We're gonna superset. It's gonna be Bulgarian split squats, which is a single leg exercise, immediately following into some core work. So let's talk about the split squat first. So for the split squat, your foot's gonna be on a bench. Now, I always talk about this when we're talking about lunging. You don't want one foot to be right behind the other because you're gonna feel off balance. Your feet should be offset about shoulder width when you set up. Okay, so this takes a second if you've never done it to find the position. One foot's back on the bench. Again, you're gonna be holding dumbbells at your side. All right, and you're gonna get a good uh, deep lunge position. The front shin should be vertical, driving back up, okay? So you're gonna do eight reps each side. Feel free to build as you go. Uh, immediately falling into either V-ups for 20 reps or 10 to 15 GHD sit-ups. So the V-up, let's talk about that. The V-up, I like to tell people to challenge yourself by really focusing on keeping your legs Great. So start the movement in a hollow position. You don't want to start on the ground. You want to start in that good hollow position and then think about snapping up. Okay? There's a little bit of balance required, but you never lose tension in your midline. And your knees ideally don't bend. It's significantly harder if you do that. We see a lot of people that do this. They flop down, their knees are bent, and then they're just touching their toes. Very different experience, okay? So, to scale that, you can do a tuck up. That's easier, but same concept at the bottom. Nice and tight, feet are off the ground, and you tuck and snap up, okay? And never lose that tension, okay? This is the V up or tuck up, okay, for 20 reps. But if you wanna go to the harder version, we got the GHG sit up. We love exposing people to this. We got a couple new GHGs at each gym. Um, so talking about the GHD, when you set up, you want your butt on the downward slope, okay? You can scale this difficulty based on the range of motion and where you put your arms, okay? The easier version is hands across your chest, all right? Watch my knees as I go down. They're bent, and then they lock, so I do this as I sit up, all right? So this is a bit of a skill. So start small, just past parallel, and trying to get that timing. As you get better, you can increase range of motion. And the final step would be arms over your head. This adds more weight to your midline and you reach for the ground, tap, but always working on firing those legs. It doesn't feel, like you might feel your legs even get sore when you do this. And then it's the next day or two that you start to feel the abs a lot. But great, great thing to work on, particularly in this low volume post-workout setting. So a lot of stuff today, guys. Have fun with it. We'll see you tomorrow.